What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring, and today we're going to talk about the Nissan Titan. Specifically, the 2020 and up Nissan Titan has had a little issue lately with the recall regarding the 9-speed transmission and its ability and its parking pole to actually hold the vehicle when in park. They've had a couple trucks roll away, enough to spawn a recall, and there's been a bit of a delay with any sort of solution to this problem. So we're going to show you in this video how to adjust the emergency brake on the second generation Nissan Titan just to make sure you're able to set that and keep your vehicle from rolling away. So this is really a pretty easy job and for the most part all of it can be done from the driver's seat here under the driver's floorboard. There are some bigger adjustments back in the rear brakes next to the actual emergency brake shoes, but unless you're really out of adjustment, you don't have to worry about those. Most of what you're gonna have is just some cable stretching issues that cause this pedal to maybe not hold the vehicle like you want. So let's go ahead and see how to fix that. So this is our emergency brake pedal. And when it's depressed in such a manner, you should be able to put the vehicle in drive on flat and level surface and the vehicle will not roll away. That should be your biggest test for whether this is holding or not. If you have the vehicle in drive and this all the way down and your vehicle just drives away, it's definitely in need of adjustment. So when we release it, we see the whole vehicle kind of shifts a little bit. This pedal has a cable connection right up here in the back. This is kind of difficult to show on camera, but I'm gonna try and get it here. Following that up, we see a little adjuster right there, that little bolt. And that's what we're gonna use to tighten the cable and provide tension to those rear brakes. You guys let me know if on your trucks, the emergency brake cable actually runs back here like mine does. You think it should be behind the carpet, but I guess mine is in front of the carpet holding it down. We can see where the cable comes out of the sheathing right there. And from there, you can kind of follow up to our mechanism. Now what fits in that is going to be a 10 millimeter deep well socket and that can just actuate straight up into that bolt. There are specs for this on how tight that should be but really you don't want it to the point where you can't push the pedal all the way back. If you adjust it to the point where the pedal stops about halfway you're going to be inclined to put more pressure on it and not get it to that exact point every time and you're going to stretch that cable a lot faster. So you only need it to be tight enough to basically hold the vehicle from rolling in drive on a flat level surface and that's about it. With the truck running, we'll clear that error, we're going to go ahead and try this out now that we've made a slight adjustment. We're going to go ahead, push that down, we feel some tension right as we get to the bottom of it, it does feel tight but we're able to have a full travel. And with that depressed, we're now going to put the vehicle in drive. And we're gonna to watch to make sure it doesn't roll away. So there we go, it didn't move at all. It just moved just about an inch. We're gonna go ahead and put the vehicle in reverse. Same test. There you go, vehicle moved only about an inch, and that is just gearing and tension related stuff. And we are secure. So guys, like I said, a very easy adjustment. This is not something that you're gonna have to do probably very frequently. I use the emergency brake just about every time I park the truck, I always have, that's just a carryover habit from when I used to drive ambulances, getting in the high idle on the diesels. But this truck has, it's been up Four years old, has a little over 40,000 miles on it, and this is now the second time I've adjusted that brake lever, and it's been holding just fine pretty much the whole time. So it's not something you're gonna have to do very frequently. It's a very easy adjustment, just something to make sure that you do on your Nissan Titan, especially with the nine speed, until this recall gets done. I believe the same is gonna be this true for the new Frontiers as well, because they have that nine speed shared transmission. They're also having the issues. The Nissan 370Z is also having that issue. That's a little bit different brake lever, as I recall, so you just have to kind of use those same skills in a different location on the vehicle. But still related to the nine-speed transmission, make sure you have that emergency brake set 
even on all, all trucks. Make sure you have that emergency brake at least adjusted so you can set it. Provides a lot of extra security for these vehicles. Thanks for watching guys. Again, short video, hopefully you found it useful. 10 millimeter deep well socket, that's all you need for this truck. This has been 4K Motoring. I'm Chris, we'll see you next time.